OK, moving on, there's a push from Europe to stop Australian wineries using the term Prosecco. How damaging would that be to wine producers here? Oh, look, we have fought very strongly. Uh, and when I say we, particularly Connor Farrell, the Trade Minister, Assistant Minister Tim Ayres, myself and other ministers, uh, to really push back on the argument from Europe uh, around the use of terms like Prosecco and others. They're what are known as geographical indicators, or at least that's what the European Union says. Uh, and what we say to them is that Australian producers have used those terms for a very long time, uh, in many cases, have cultural connections to the use of those terms as well, because, of course, as a multicultural country, we've had people bring literally their Prosecco vines from their villages in Italy uh, and other products as well. So uh, we've been pushing back very strongly on this. Uh, I think it's important to remember that this is not by any means the only issue involved in the negotiations with the EU for a free trade agreement. Our number one objective as a government is to deliver the best possible new markets in the EU for products like beef, sheep meat, grains, sugar, all sorts of other things, and even our fantastic white mangers too. OK. And finally, more than $100 million in funding has been announced to support the forest industry. What projects will this fund? Yeah, I was in Launceston yesterday, Gabriella, with Brian Mitchell, uh, one of our members in Tasmania, announcing that funding. Basically, what we've announced is grants to 34 different sawmills and timber processes around the country, which is really about helping them adopt new technology, new equipment, new methods uh, to value add more in our forestry industry. Uh, the sawmill I was at yesterday just outside Launceston, they're going to be investing uh, $3 million of their own and $2 million of a government grant to buy new equipment, uh, which will make their operations a lot more efficient. It'll help them uh, produce much more high value products. Uh, and what that, of course, means is more jobs for people, particularly in regional areas. So it's a great announcement. It was one of our election commitments, and I'm really excited that we're starting to deliver it. Murray Watt, thanks so much for your time. Appreciate it.